you can't join the blacks either. What's that? Can you join the blacks? No. If you're white? No. But what if you're like, I was born in Newark? What? You could try. <laughs> they're not, they're not going to like it. <laughs> if, uh, like, so I have to be with the white group. If I go to prison, I have to be with the whites. It, it's less, apparently it's a little bit less segregated on the East Coast. The East yeah, because we're very multicultural here. The East Coast goes more by geographic area. Uh-huh. Um, uh, and, and, the, and the East Coast has more like separations between races. Like they'll have the the Bloods and the Crips yeah. still stay stay separate. In California, it doesn't matter. You could be a Blood, you could be a Crip. You go into prison, you're part of the Black Gorilla family. That's it. That's what. The, that's the. Oh, gang. Yeah, you shouldn't say that. That's their gang name. <laughs> but I can't say that if I'm in their gang. <laughs> you're not going to be in their it gang. Well, I'm not going to be in a white supremacist man. gang. You are. That's the thing. I don't want to be in a no racist choice. gang. Then you got to roll it up, man. I want to be in the robotics gang, like guys who are into science. <laughs> then you got to roll it up. That's what they call it. What do you mean roll it up? Check, check, it, check into protective custody. That's How do it. I do that? You Witness ask right plan? away. That's oh. what I would have to do because the whites don't allow psychiatric medication. Oh, that's a whites thing, not a prison thing. No, the prison will give you psychiatric medication. Mm. The, the, white wh- people the whites won't. say, this guy was saying... <laughs> Absolutely, under no circumstances do any of our guys are they allowed to take because they want them crazy. Well, they also don't. They don't want to show any weakness. They say that's a show of weakness, and you're unstable, and we're not going to have you. And it's like, buddy, I'm going to be a a whole lot more unstable if you don't allow this. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I would argue. I would argue that the the giving the pill makes you stronger. Yeah, but it's very funny because I watch these guys. I watch these guys, and I'm yeah, the very, roof we're on. I'm fascinated. We are. Yeah, I'm oh. fascinated by. I was pr- ordering uh, breakfast for everyone. Okay, <laughs> let Brendan finish. I'm f- <laughs> sorry, but yeah, I, that was on me. I'm fa- I'm fascinated by. Uh, I don't want breakfast, by the way. <laughs> Becky. Okay. Okay. I'm fascinated by prison <laughs> politics, but it's funny. All these guys come out, and me so, too. So there's these. So it's it, it's this hard racial <laughs> segregation in mm. terms of the gangs, yeah. and they all come out and they go. Don't fucking come in there and try and change it. You can't change it. And it's like, well, somebody could change it. Oh. Like who? this is who is our guy, our JFK of the prison system. I know somebody who goes to all the guys and say, hey, listen, this these are the these are prison officials turning us against one another yeah. to fucking so we police each other by killing each other. Let's all just uh, you know n- n- no more stabbings. Mm-hmm. You know uh, we'll have food. We'll play basketball. Yeah, peace and love, Woodstock, man. A little quick. yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you that. I was talking to Anthony about. Do you want breakfast? No, I. Jesus Christ! (laughs) What is this? A podcast where a guy just orders fucking food? Yeah, yeah, always has been. I (laughs) think for many. Are you mad about that? What? Yeah, no. It's just if I had known that, I would have started ordering food on the podcast earlier because I think I'm a little bit better (laughs) about describing what I'm doing than Anthony. He orders food. Boring. I order food. I'm going down the menu. Yeah, roller coaster ride. I'm telling you what's succulent. What's sexy? You order. Sexy foods. Yes. Give us give us a little taste of how you. I, I the way I see a menu, it's real real business. You know, the, they say steak, I hear steak. I, they say fish, I hear fish. But how do you read a menu? They say steak. I say, what's the mouth feel going to be like on that? What's what are we talking? What kind of steak do you mean? Prime rib? Because uh-huh. you know I love a prime rib. Oh, Rare yeah. these days. You know, not as many restaurants carry a prime rib. That's more of a throwback steak mm. you know now a prime rib that thing that thing's pinker than a pinker than a the, the inside of a uh, don't say uh, it try something else uh, go with your third option no, what's the fourth option there. don't uh, say it uh, frozen yogurt there we store. go <laughs> <laughs> pink berry yeah, <laughs> yeah. and nice. uh, uh, but I like a prime rib uh, then a, a fish you say to me fish I say get uh-huh. the fuck out of my face I don't like fish unless you're talking <laughs> fish and chips if I'm in if I'm in some sort of one of the British Isles and you're going to give me fish and chips with vinegar a nice cod or mm. white fish fried and uh, 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 I bet I bet they have some of that in Canada you know with those fries you put vinegar on them wonderful wonderful I have one question yeah what the hell are you talking about <laughs> what <laughs> well Brendan I'll tell you how this all started I um well first Brendan was talking about prison systems yeah and then I was ordering breakfast mm-hmm. and then Brendan told me the way I I order breakfast is very boring. Sure. And that the way Brendan orders breakfast is a real roller coaster ride. Yeah, like the way he was speaking. So that's what we were doing. Ups and downs and all around. Yeah, exactly. So so the bit 
if I believe. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get bit. Yeah. Um, that was one of the best we've had. <laughs> How are we going to follow that? Can I tell? Once I'm done ordering this breakfast, I'm good to go. No, I go now. As Elephant Man says. But yeah, what do you want to talk good about? Good to go. I'll well, see if it's better did, than what I want to talk about. I did a, uh, somehow I combined like, you know, like right. a joke on a popsicle stick. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tweeted this yesterday. It was like, and it's like a popsicle stick joke and how bad and corny it is, but it's dirty. So it's a funny combination. When oh, I, yeah. I tweeted, I said, uh, I said, I got, uh, I said, I got uh, peer pressured. I said, I got peer pressured uh, into. Wow. What do you, don't laugh before I do the joke. What is I that? just love, I don't laughing. know if the joke is going to come. You're like, what? I feel like you're racking your brain for it. You're <laughs> loving the struggle. Yeah. You're like one of those audience members that laughs during the wrong part, and then mm. you got to stop and say, now what were you laughing about? Yeah, because yeah. I know it wasn't my joke. You're laughing at me. Yeah, you're laughing. Some, no, someone said something to you. You're laughing about the nachos or some other shit, and I'm not having it. No, that oh, that's not true. But you, <laughs> but you know what I mean. When you're on stage and some guy yeah, laughs at I the do, wrong I point, do. you got to be like, hey, man, I know when the laughs come. Yeah, and it's this not ain't now. It. Yeah. This is aggressive. Yeah. See yeah. yourself out for having <laughs> fun at the wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> you have fun when I declare Yeah, fun. isn't that crazy? Yeah, I get very mad. <laughs> when, they la- when I walked on stage and someone laughed. You have went, fun when I say you have fun. Yes, now. and that yeah. is it. That's nuts. Yeah, yeah, a lady laughed at me. I walked on stage. A lady laughed at me. And I was like, you're laughing at me being fat. <laughs> and she was like, maybe that's in your head. And I was like, probably right. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. So tell me this popsicle stick joke. But dirty. Uh, but dirty. It's hard to combine the two. <laughs> I said, I got peer pressured. Yeah. You mean like a classic dirty joke? No. Okay. So no. we're done talking about the prison system. I'll Come tell on. you. I'll answer uh, any prison questions you have. <laughs> so for me, and I have I was never ordering be- breakfast during I've that never, whole ordeal. I've never been in prison, but I, you know, I study these YouTube videos of the guys that get out. I yeah. love it. Mm. I love it. So I'll tell you any. I'll answer any pr- <laughs> prison questions you may have later. Later. <laughs> first, off the podcast. First, <laughs> off the air. This dad, this dirty dad joke. Uh huh. I tweeted that I'm very proud of because it's hard to combine the two factors: dirtiness, but yet corny. Yeah, I'm going to talk on this when you're done with this joke. <laughs> okay. Which I don't think is coming. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I said, uh, I said, uh, I get, I got, uh, I got peer pressured uh-huh. to buy lube. Mm-hmm. I think I was just doing it to fit in. I mean, <laughs> wait, I don't. Oh, fit yeah, in, like get, fit in, we like all, a, a we bottle. all get it. <laughs> I didn't. At we first. all get it. Yeah, now I get it. That's hilarious. But that you can't say that's never happened before. Dads are like that weird uncle is the king of the salty dirt joke. What's yeah. another one? I've never known any other one. Well, how do you get a one arm Pollock out of a tree? <laughs> Shake it. No, you like you just you you ask them. You say, "Hey, man, come on down." No, you wave to him and then you wave back. That's like a classic oh. racist <laughs> dirty joke. But that, uh. that's not dirty. Yeah, but they went with racist. Oh, you yeah, went but, with dirty. That's the move. Every, you racist or dirty. Everyone knows. Everyone knows you want to tell an acceptable racist joke, you go Pollock. You got to go Pollock. Because yeah. they don't mind, really, as far they as did we back know. In. You know why they started? Because they're not bright people. But why? <laughs> why did that come from? <laughs> what? Because of World War II. Pol- the Polish, when Poland was invaded, I swear, this is very loosely based truth, <laughs> but as close as we'll get is that they, people were like, the Germans started the... Polacks are dumb stuff because yeah. of when they got invaded and all this shit and they hated them. This is really true. And then those jokes leaked out into pop culture. Yeah, they really went soft on the Polish people compared to the propaganda they spread about the Jews. You know? They were like, they were <laughs> well, like they these Jewish Poland. people are inherently evil yeah. and they should be burned in places. Mm-hmm. And the Polish people, it takes a lot of them to screw in a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Uh, yeah, more than you can count. More than they can count, that's for sure. They really, they they, he went a different route. They were like, we, uh, Hitler was like, us, we might have been too hard on the Jews. We go different way with Polak. Polish people, my stepdad was Polish. Uh-huh. And, uh, Still is, I bet. Well, he passed away last night, and I told you that. So I really wish you wouldn't have brought that up. Wow. No, I'm kidding. He's still Polish. Great. Oh, George yeah. is doing great. But he would do all these Italian jokes, I'll tell you. He like shit on us for being Italian when right. I was three. And then my mom was like, do this Polish joke, because he was German and Polish. And uh, then he would get mad and offended. Also, my mom's defense was uh, loading us with racism. She's like, how do you fight that? Fight it with this. He's shitting on being Italian. 
Shit on him for being a dumb polo. <laughs> yeah, uh, it didn't help. It was dumb though. Well, it didn't help when they when Germany invaded. They kept the Polacks were. I don't think we should call them Polacks. Maybe the, the Polish, Polish people. The they Poles. Were, they kept shooting at him, the but they were, they were missing because they were just using sticks. <laughs> yeah, and that was one that that didn't help yeah. their cause. And their know? submarines all sank because <laughs> yeah. they had screen windows. Yeah, that was another problem. <laughs> these that real jokes. Are you guys coming up with these on the fly? <laughs> I have a, over five hundred Polish jokes <laughs> yeah. ready to go. Really, do them all. Uh, how do you stop a Polish tank? I have no idea. Shoot the guy in the back pushing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> had, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, they were like, we used to have to fight. We used to have to fight George with Polish jokes because he would do the Italian jokes. Would he laugh at them? No, he would get very mad. Really? He never laughed at anything what was in like his a, life. Okay, what except was, Groot. Right. What was a sample of one of George's Italian jokes? I told him like a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but like, really? what do you, like, yeah, why, why is Italy shaped like a boot? You can't fit that much shit in a sneaker. Uh, oh, was I there for this? I yeah, there. I looked right at you and you looked at me blankly. <laughs> so it all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Now, sometimes my uncle, would he would do this thing. Well, he would do a couple of jokes. These were his favorite. He would go, Anthony, I wish I was dead. <laughs> Your uncle? <laughs> yeah, he'd say that to me all the time. When yeah, I was yeah. A kid. Well, you got his... He got his wish. He came <laughs> later, but he got his wish. Yeah. Um, Better late than never. His other jokes he would do, anytime there was a, um, an overweight uh, person, usually a woman, he, yeah. you know, at a um, maybe getting a drink of water, yeah, yeah. he would always go, well, there's no more left in the ocean now. <laughs> he yes. was a very mean yes. person. <laughs> yes, that's hilarious. My uh, Irish grandfather had an interesting joke-telling strategy, which was... <laughs> A complete disregard for his own shortcomings. For instance, we would drive some so by someone, so an old person wearing glasses, and he'd say, "Hey, look at this fucking specky four eyes." And I'd say, "You call him specky four eyes," and I'd say, "You know you have glasses, right? <laughs> you can see it, right?" Yeah. And he, well, one time he called someone a gammy leg feck. And that because the, the person was uh, limping, yeah. And I said, "You're in a wheelchair." <laughs> he, but he had no, didn't, didn't. Those are the best kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Those did. are the best kind. Also, like a gammy leg feck. I don't know. I don't know yeah. what you said. I thought you were really, honestly speaking, Gaelic. I didn't know what? Gaelic is an Irish language. Yeah. I thought they spoke English. They do, and it's funny. Like uh, there was this big. Uh, <laughs> There was this big like nationalist pride movement. Yeah, yeah I was uh, in on that. Nice. Uh, in the '90s or so, and they made it a law that all street signs had to be in in English and Irish, so English and Gaelic. Yeah. But the thing is, nobody speaks Gaelic. It was just a humongous waste that, well, of money. That's not a true. The country country boys speak Gaelic. Yeah. Like there's like, like southern. There's like a hundred yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. The, we, yeah. We have meetings <laughs> once a year. I go. Well, that's what they... Oh, yeah. A Gaelic, if you don't know, if you've probably never been familiar with Gaelic, Gaelic is a, a mathematical potato language. <laughs> so they just, you'll see you on Irish me? signs, it'll be like, make a right turn in English, and then you'll see like three potatoes plus another potato equals four potatoes, and in Gaelic, that means make a right turn. Hmm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't know what I have to add. <laughs> I do, Why would you? I want to do an asterisk and then come right back to you. Asterisk real quick. I did love that lube joke, and I didn't get to really give you the credit. I wanted to be a jerk about it, but I never got to come back and say, don't to fit in is great. Back to Gaelic real quick. Because it's about I'm trying to fit no, my it, dick into someone's ass. Totally. I got it. I got it. It took me a little bit, but I got it. Yeah. Well, I, my move, which I think Anthony does, is if I don't like a joke, I go, wait, what? I didn't get it. And then it allows me to like get ready to laugh. And then when they do it again, I go, ha! Hilarious! <laughs> I think that's what Anthony did. That's funny. No, I honestly didn't get. I have trouble with street jokes in getting them right away. Okay, because somebody me, told me one the other day, and I and it was a one on one, so it was like, fuck, it's all on me to get this. Yeah, yeah. I felt so much pressure, <laughs> and I did not get it at first. Well, that's and why I, I had you. to be honest, and I said, you got to break it down for me. Asterix, and we'll come back to that. <laughs> a lot of asterisks. Is today's an asterisk day? I guess. Yeah, asterisks. My joke was not a street joke. I wrote that. 
<laughs> no, but yeah, in the, it was like, in the vein ready. of a yes. street joke. Uh, no, it's a, in the vein of a sweet joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, sweet joke could still be a street joke. You well, street jokes are the best jokes. They've outlived whoever wrote them. Yeah, they're true. better. I did a gig one time at some fucking yacht club. They called it a yacht club. They had a bunch of fucking rowboats outside. Mm-hmm. They didn't have. A, I didn't see a yacht. Was that in the sight. one in the Hamptons? Yeah, we all did that gig yeah, were with we the get, commander, the, yeah. com- the commodore, the commodore. <laughs> Who did? I, yeah, which I'll explain. And yeah. they, they fucking <laughs> go up there before I go up. So they have some feature. They have a host feature. Then yeah. they go, here's the segment where everyone, whoever yep. wants to in the crowd can come up and tell a joke. Yep. And I go, well, this is fucked up because street jokes are better than stand up. Mm. So you're just telling better jokes. So I go, well, fuck you. I'm doing street jokes because yeah. I know more than you. Wow. So I just did street jokes and I crushed. Can't believe you guys know so many street jokes. Did you guys read a book when you were younger? Why don't Why don't you ever play Why don't you ever play poker in the jungle? Because of all the lions and it's dangerous. Yes, yes, no. the lions it's will very eat similar. you. <laughs> no, lions are of course dangerous. Also, where do you get a table yeah, in the jungle? You no got, I guess ta- you got to walk around for like a tree stump. Car, yeah, no, even no, the cards. There's no it rains storm. a lot in yeah. the jungle, from what I understand. Yeah, so moist, the cards will get all wet. Moist. I mean, all of these You're are valid reasons. You're gonna get chewed up by the bugs. Chewed bugs, up sure. is right. Sure, I think the bugs is great. No table, also great. Lions, not really in the jungle. I think they're more in like the savanna. So I <laughs> would point. I would there. Sure. Good point. Um, but you know, also, how do you, why would you go all the way to the jungle? Tigers. That's a problem. Right, right, right. Um, tigers are in the jungle. Tigers is a problem. That's but I'm going to say the one major problem yeah. that is is all the cheetahs. What? Oh, oh good. That's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's okay. Good. That's yeah. pretty good. That's actually true. That works because it's true. I don't know that cheetahs are in the jungle either. Well, one could sneak in. Do you want to? When I brought. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I brought a bunch of cheetahs to the jungle to let them loose. And that's why you don't want to play poker there, because those things are hungry. I just, you know, I, I broke into the zoo, put I them in a rental a van. That's a funny way. If you were going to tell street jokes on stage, yeah. to do it like that. You know what I mean? Where you do the punchline, like you said. I call cheetahs. them cheat jokes. Right. Cheetah jokes. Right, right, right. You do the cheetahs line, but then you really explain how... I know what you guys are thinking. This is actually the joke where I, I brought a bunch of cheetahs to the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the yeah. joke is uh, I create a felony. Right. You can't break into a government-operated yeah, zoo. Are the governments in on the zoos? Yeah, the major ones yeah, are. The they major, are. Sure. Yeah, if they yeah. bring in enough revenue, here's the thing about the U.S. government. Tell if it brings right. enough revenue in, they'll get their greedy little hands on it because mm-hmm. that's what they're doing with weed right now. Yep. And that's what they're doing with social media and cigarettes. Yep. And T-shirts. And T-shirts. Because they were doing too well for a little while, these boardwalk T-shirts. And then the government got their hands all over them. And what happened? That's why That's why Big Johnson T-shirts are out of business. Exactly. Because the government got in mm-hmm. and they were like, we're going to regulate horny T-shirts down the shore. Yep. Yeah. You know, Dirty Dick's Crab Shack yeah. T-shirt. You know, <laughs> like, you're going to, you know, it's... G- yeah. I can't, I, can't find a, a, I can't find a co-ed naked lacrosse shirt for the goddamn life of me. And if you do, it, the quality isn't there. No, it's because not. The government got involved. Now, yeah. I was in my coffee. You know, I go to that my little coffee shop to write. Hang on, I don't think yeah, he's done. I got an asterisk coming up, though. No, go ahead. Right. <laughs> P- pop it in there. Co-ed, Nick, those shirts, I, I wore one, but I never got them. You know? Yeah, you had I, a lot of them. I, I didn't have too many. No, you're thinking of later on. Then I got them. But I didn't actually. The man from Nantucket shirt, I never really understood. It just fit nicely. Um, but... The co-ed naked craze in middle school and stuff like that, they always had, you know, like sexual innuendo slogans. And I think I just didn't know enough about sex then. So I never got any of them. But I would say I got them. Well, Much it, like a humidity situation. It, it was wild to me because there was these kids wearing these shirts right. in like fifth, sixth, seventh right, grade. Right, right. I'm like, whose mom bought you that shirt? Totally. My whose mom, uncle yeah. bought them that <laughs> but shirt? But my mom, if I try to walk out of the house with a shirt that says co-ed naked socks, or we only like to kick it in your pussy or whatever they yeah, fucking yeah, said. Yeah. My mom would be like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm not having a, a 11-year-old yeah. with a fucking shirt. Yeah, yeah. Get in here. Jimmy's you know? big ass nuts. <laughs> yeah. It's a guy named Jimmy who's also a nut <laughs> yeah. who's got a big sheep like a butthole. <laughs> yeah. Get Jimmy's big ass nuts Dude, in I your ju- mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they co-ed naked pool. I had a co-ed naked pool shirt I just got right now. 
And it said, get felt on the table. And I get that now. Yeah. I didn't know what that meant at all. But I would be like, I know, guys, right? But like, Pretty racy stuff. What's wild is like there I were didn't... no adults even wearing these shirts. No, It was a not. children's sex shirt line. <laughs> yeah. That's what co-ed it's naked true, shirts children were. Children's uncles. Was a children's sex shirt line <laughs> brought to you by uncles. Yeah, yeah, brought to you by Coors Light in your hand <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Hanging yeah, by so the pool. true, man. The co-ed naked made me mad because I was like, I get it. Right. I was like, I got it. I was like, oh, you oh. want to get naked together? Right. That's just not that funny. Yeah. It's just okay, co-ed naked. It's yeah, like, I that's thought that the too. bit. No, the bit was the what comes after. They always had a, a you know, slogan. like get felt on the table or whatever but sport it, yeah. that was. They had a like a pun, you know, like yeah, yeah. baseball was like uh, uh, ha- hang out on second base for a while or some yeah, shit, you know, right. some sure, right. shit like that. It really you know? wasn't that funny, but they were so popular that I was just like. Yeah, I, I think it's funny too. But I like I same. I didn't really think it was that funny. Like baseball. Yeah. Like they're like stick a bat in her pooper. Is that one? <laughs> yeah. Co-ed I naked. Mean, well, I think the other I think that would have actually made me laugh. It's violent. Just oh yeah, that's very violent. But uh, that would have made me laugh for just how on the nose it was. Yeah, that <laughs> would be, that would have been, like, been better. I'm on board. These guys are ridiculous. If it was just like co-ed naked football. Try and fit a football in a woman's pussy. Like, just yeah. really just, yeah. don't, no puns. Full picture just, of some woman <laughs> yeah. in Thailand. Just, uh, there, I knew a stripper once that got, would uh, put a Nerf, she'd squish up a Nerf football and put it in her vagina. Mm. And she could take it out and it would resume to normal size. Didn't you can catch it like a dolphin? What? Kick it over. She would a... throw it into the crowd, yes. That's fun. <laughs> now, do you think there was an arms race or a rivalry uh-huh. between Coed Naked and Big Johnson? Do you think they were trying to go dirtier, bigger? It was get... all owned. It was, okay. And this is fact, because I looked up this stuff up. <laughs> I'm sure this will be fact. Yeah, it was all owned by the Koch brothers. The Koch <laughs> brothers were distributing on both That's sides. That's how they made their real money. <laughs> yeah, and they were playing both sides. And then they were fighting, and then you realized, hey man, this is, we're all, we're all being controlled by the Koch brothers in their horny t-shirt down the shore business. <laughs> now, do you want to hear the best street joke? No, I'm not done on the t-shirts thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, go on. I want to tell a quick one, very quick. I got so drunk one time. Yeah. Woke up in a t-shirt that said, fuck you, you fucking fuck. <laughs> they sell those in Chinatown. Those guys love those shirts. I, but I don't remember buying it. Yeah. I don't know what happened to my original shirt, but I woke up. You were with me that night yeah. in jeans yeah. wearing a shirt that said fuck. I made a full purchase. A yeah, fun, and you put did. it on yeah. at a bar. Yeah, I think you just don't remember that. I was yeah, we drunk. were. We went to there was like that hot dog bar around Times Square, and around there, there, <laughs> there is there's this place. I forget what the name of it's called. It's like Jimmy something or other. Rudy's. Rudy's. That's it. So we went to Rudy's and we were hammered. But before Rudy's, they had all these like you know they Times Square. They have all these like T-shirt guys. Yeah. You walked in uh, alone. Yeah. You got a bunch of shirts. Uh huh. Walked out and you had the shirt on. Yeah, and then you, you know, we went back to Queens, and you woke up with the shirt on. So that's what happened. I think that those sh- particular genre of shirts are crazy to me because they're a level above boardwalk shirts. The the what you're describing, and there's a whole kind of line of them. The shirts that just directly insult whoever looks at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you looking at? Fuck you, piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, like, just like, yeah. like a guy could just come up to you and be like, hey, what? Yeah, what do like, you know, what, what do you mean? I fuck fuck you. I fucked your girlfriend last yeah, night. Yeah. <laughs> you bought the shirt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Oh, that was an old Louis bit. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, he the bumper him. sticker where he, yes. where oh, he okay. drew, followed the guy home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm just realizing now that's not a real story. <laughs> um, but anyway, I mean, you brought up vacation, and that's a good thing. That's a great thing to segue into. No, I still have <laughs> got to tell the best street joke there ever is. All right. Then we'll get to the, your vacation that you guys went on. It sounds fantastic from what I've heard or seen <laughs> via pictures. I wasn't there, but uh, uh, nor was I invited. But uh, yes, no, now I jokes. will say this joke. I will give you a little preface, a little background. I, that's what I wanted, more preface. We're going to do how wanted- Anthony has Anthony's Corner. I want to do the Brendan Countdown where you only get so many seconds to get to the point. Well, I'm going to need 400 because this, what I want in the preface is this is not a short street joke. This is very of course long. it is. Thank God. How uh, could it have I been short? I was hoping short? you'd be yeah. talking more. Uh, right. now, uh, <laughs> this man, <laughs> he's, he's walking down the street, you know? 
<laughs> and he sees a sign. He's trying to kill himself with his microphone <laughs> while you're talking. Wake me up when he gets to the punchline. He sees a sign, you know? Uh huh. And it says, uh, Now, this man, uh, don't, don't interrupt. Interrupt him. We'll <laughs> never get through it. Yeah, I love context. This don't. is like uh, ads, so, guys. <laughs> just, we got to get through them. So, this man, uh, he's walking down the street. I barely know this man. He sees a sign. <laughs> what sign? It said, The sign says, Talking dog for sale, $50. Okay. That seems mm-hmm. like a 50, cheap. Well, price. here's the thing. So he goes, "That's ridiculous." And sure. The dog can't talk. It was ridiculous. He goes in and rings the doorbell. He goes in. And the guy says, "Well, like, what's this about? You're selling a talking dog." I said, "I'm selling a talking dog. Let me, let me see. Show me. You got mm-hmm. a dog to talk? Show me." Takes in the back room. There's a dog, a uh, German Shepherd, lying there. He said, You're, "Oh, so this dog can talk." The dog goes, oh, yes, I can talk. I was born in Calcutta in the slums. I spent my early years saving victims of earthquakes. I think that's funny already. From underneath the rubble. I saved over 27,000 lives. I was then transferred to the Swiss Alps where I was an avalanche dog digging out climbers. You don't think this is funny? I think this is really funny. I know the joke. Digging out climbers buried, dying. Dying, and I saved them. Uh-huh. And then, my friend, well, and only then was I uh, miraculously transferred to Afghanistan, where I did the soldiers of the United States and the Allied forces a tremendous, a tremendous service by sniffing out IEDs, saving them from horrific injuries. I spent six years there, only to return to America, where I was a therapy dog working in hospitals with young children suffering from cancer, and only. Only the pet of my beautiful, uh, my, bell. my beautiful uh, <laughs> fur could could bring them some joy and relief. And the guy goes, "To what? This dog can talk. Why? Why are you selling him for only fifty bucks?" And the guy goes, "Cause he's a fucking liar." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but still, I don't know. A talking dog still that's like cheap. Even if it's a lying talking dog, you want the lying dog. Yeah, you want him. I don't get the joke. Because the joke is that he's a liar. He's lying about all the stuff he said. Yeah, but still, he's talking to you. No, I know. That is not real. It didn't happen. I mean, I'm a liar, and I'm not even a dog. That's what I was going to say, man. Greg lies all the time, and I, 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 you know. Yeah, I do lie. I love his company. It didn't actually happen. It's a joke, man. All right, I'll try. What's a joke? A joke in itself is a lie. I'll, I'll so try. you're lying. No I'll more. I'll try. No one. more. I'll try another no, one. we're thirty. That's we gotta what get I was trying to thing. say, man. I have trouble for some reason with these street jokes. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, see yeah. if you can follow this. No one. Right, right. more. See if you can follow this one. <laughs> uh, traveling salesman. Okay, gotcha. He's uh, he sells. I'm gonna uh, guess the ending. He sells those little rings that. This can, is can great. This is like a little. Contest. He sells the rings that attach the shower. To the thing, shower yeah, rings. You know? So he rings, <laughs> rings the doorbell. He rings it with the rings, the shower rings. He rings Cock it rings. with his finger. Don't interrupt. This is important. <laughs> no, you don't get to just do fifty <laughs> minutes of long ass jokes. We're talking about street jokes. No, we're, we're not. We gotta get to the vacation. We get to vacation. He rings the doorbell, right? He's, you going, know, he's trying to sell these uh, shower rings. <laughs> we to welcome change. Yeah, I, you're right. I do. This he, is the new podcast. He, he's trying to sell these shower <laughs> rings. You know. It, he he uh, uh, rings the doorbell. Door opens. Hi. It's a ten-year-old boy. Okay. okay. No, it was Anthony. He's got lipstick. You got to be able to improvise. You no, know, it's a ten-year-old boy. <laughs> ten-year-old yeah, boy. Yeah, you have to welcome change as Greg. Is yeah, if I'm welcoming change. change, then it has to be Anthony. He's a ten-year-old boy. Answers and uh, he's Anthony. got a. Hello, he, I'm ten. No, years stop old, it! Stop it! But I'm a ten-year-old boy. Stop it! He's got uh, lipstick on, you know, and he's. <laughs> I'm a ten-year-old boy he, who doesn't know himself. He's, he's <laughs> who's figuring things out. He's smoking a cigarette. He's but got one of those uh, that one of those see-through uh, silk. Robes on, garter belt, women's panties. Okay, and he's uh, he, he's uh, <laughs> drinking a martini, and he's got a black eye. You know, oh, and, my uh, eye hurts. And the traveling salesman says, uh, uh, "I are your parents home?" And the kid goes, "What the fuck do you think?" Wait, what? There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> Understand. There's nothing. Well, of course his parents car. aren't home. We got into a car. We got into a car. We drove for a very long time. <laughs> and then we got out of the car. And you know where we were? Nowhere. No. We went nowhere. No. We ran See, out of gas. Why would his parents... Of course his parents aren't home. He's well, dressed up we like this, was, drinking, this is what smoking you did. cigarettes. Let me tell you what we did. Hey, man. Yeah, play it along. Hey, we're going to yeah, do a car. they're not home. This is what we're going to do. We're going to come and take you the best dinner you've ever had. Do you want a great dinner? You want a great dinner? What? what do you like? What kind of food do you like? I like, uh, I like fish. You like fish? Yeah. You like fish. What's the best kind of fish? Well, now... Just quick, quick. I got clam strips from a grocery clam strips, store great. last Get night. Get in the car. 
Great. We're driving four hours. Four hours. We're in the car to get you the best clam tricks. They and I get really out of the car. Them. Okay. Here we are, an ice cream store that sells you a turd. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I wanted clam That's trips. exactly how I felt when Brendan told the joke. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Well, he interrupted. It would have been better. <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, can I tell you, I, I got heard... these clam strips from a grocery store last night. It's the first time in my life I only I don't know if I'm open to anything anymore. (laughs) I'm just mad at both of you now, and I don't know why. (laughs) That's all right. Maybe because I'm hungry. (laughs) I offer... I mean, I offer I don't want to owe you anything anymore. You wouldn't have owed me anything. I wouldn't have cared about a breakfast sandwich. (laughs) Anyway, um, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? Well, I... No, I don't get to talk on this one. I want to hear about your guys' vacation. I'd like for you to talk. (laughs) I I want to hear about your vacation. We went on vacation. We went to North Carolina. It was great. We, all of our friends were invited. It was a big friend trip. Yeah. So, every one of them. Yeah. So it was like our best friends from high school. Mm-hmm. Anthony and me, our wives. And we had uh, this one kid who I don't, we didn't even know that well. He yeah. Was, well, he was cool. Two people we didn't know that well. One person, three people. I met two people I met for the first time. Yeah, who? Uh, Jordan oh, and, and Barbara. Oh, Barbara was great. Uh-huh. She really came in. I didn't even know her, and this girl was the best. Yeah. And, well, I never met Mike's... I never met Miles, so nine-month-old baby. That's three people I never even met before. Yeah, and a baby. Yep. So two babies. So we had two babies. Well, I have met Julian before. Yeah, you had met Julian. He's great. Yeah. But, I'm just saying, a lot of people, a lot of great yeah. friends there. Do you know how, how it makes me feel <laughs> what when you say all you you are on vacation with all your friends well i have some other friends they're just not as i'm just not as close well, with them yeah that's I, I true mean, and <laughs> all friends and a couple strangers yeah but but what, they were great yes they I, were so if strangers were involved why wasn't i invited well that's uh, the question you've got to ask yourself it was more a, than us <laughs> yeah. i think it wasn't a podcast vacation it's true. Yeah. Because okay. So we're not friends. We're just pod. First of all, you can't. I see Greg's wearing a hat that says "Salty, salty crew. crew." I'm a salty crew. Man. That's fine. Yeah, man. Yeah. You can be salty crew, uh-huh. but you can't do salt life stuff. No, it's all salt. I'm a salt life salty crew. No, because me <laughs> and Andrew Collin have been doing salt life bits for three years. We're salt. No, we've life. been doing it. Yeah, but longer. the salty crew is different from salt life. That's fine. Much. That, what I'm saying is, okay. if you're this salty is crew. It's the better. Salty Crew as actually was around before Salt Life. Yeah, That's salty fine. Okay, best. tell me some of these activities you did on this vacation. I'm I didn't. Gonna, I didn't even want to go to. Oh, okay. Well, this is great. I'm glad you asked. Every um, taco made a bunch of cold brew, so we would drink that. And, and then every, every morning. Yeah, he made a batch every morning. So and then the, somebody different would make dinner every night. And then we watched uh, Anchorman one night. We watched Knocked Up another night. Oh, real quick. Let's get a j- vote on this. <laughs> Ma'am, I don't want... Look, this is a hypothetical situation, not implicating anyone here. If you walk in to, and you see a TV and you sign on to Amazon... Oh, this and you sign to and you rake me over the coals for this. Not you. I don't know. This is a hypothetical situation. Well, I'll get everything out in the open right now. And it's someone's Amazon is logged in. Is it okay to rent a movie on whatever that account is? <laughs> we were also very drunk yeah, well, we were, but there's an addendum. Let me ask Brendan how he feels about this, and then I'm going to add the addendum. What do you think? Well, I, I mean, hearing that you're very drunk, I could see it as being a mistake. If you're not drunk, it's obviously you don't do that. Obvious. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're not drunk, if you're very okay. drunk. If you're drunk, you do it. I could see it being a thing where you don't really I'm think in. about it. Well, so the next day when you are not drunk, <laughs> yeah. do you then defend that position of, no, we were right to purchase? Well, let Man, me ask some questions. Let me ask some questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, who was, uh, how many people enjoyed the movie and were in favor of watching the movie? In other words, I have was a great this, answer for this for the hypothetical purchaser, yeah. was this just for his own enjoyment or was there a group interested in the viewing of this movie? What right. a, so I would say there was three to four people there. Five. Five. At uh, least. Three of which went to bed five minutes into the movie. I can't be accountable for their sleep habits. And no one else, and no one finished the movie. Greg and I did. I didn't finish it. I did. You did alone. Yeah. Yeah. And now, Anthony, I'd like to cross-examine. That's not some salt. That's not salty crew shit. Salty Fuck crew the shit. salty crew. Salty no, crew shit. Yeah, I'm salt life. Nerds. You just went once, and you think you're salty. We'll, crew. Sal- we'll salty crew. I'm salt life. <laughs> Fuck you. 
No, we salty fuck crew. you. Salty, salty crew. crew. What do you mean? Okay, yeah, so far I established earlier than salt. No, it wasn't. Yes, and not was. only that, I've asked you about your vacation, and I'm not done cross-examining you. I haven't yeah, ruled judgment on this yeah. fucking like case. It. But back to this, the prior case, which is well, what's wrong with salty crew? What's wrong with salt? There's nothing wrong with salty crew. You be salty crew, but I'm salt life. No. And if you try and tell me <laughs> Man. that I, if you try and tell me well, Salty Crew uh, is above this Salt Life bit uh-huh. I've been doing for fucking three years now, okay, then so why don't you why don't you become part of the Salty Crew? Because I wasn't fucking invited. So why don't we break down the differences between Salty Crew and Salt Life so we can iron it all out? Salty here. Crew is better. Yeah, but why, man? And we what got you got? <laughs> right. Okay, well, let That's me ask good. you this, and you're not off the hook for this Amazon. I didn't want. I so never wanted to be off are. the hook. Yeah, you you did want to be. No, off the I'm hook. glad. I, I'm this. willing to bring it up as much as possible. Anthony, describe your vacation on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. A vacation of, of which was included all of your friends. Uh, all of them. And I was not invited. I'm past that. I don't care. We are no longer friends. <laughs> We're business good. partners, and that's fine. And that will allow me more freedom to tell my street jokes with no uh, hindrance of concern for your feelings. So I am uh, uh, ecstatic. Mm-hmm. But Good uh, to see you happy again. Thank you. Anthony, <laughs> describe your vacation, okay? And what I heard uh-huh. was I heard cold brew. Uh huh. It was great. Cold I Bruce heard. Was great. Uh, I heard a lot of movie watching. One movie, half a movie that he didn't pay for. I've we heard watched at least five or six movies. I've heard. We and the Jim Gaffigan. Special. We have to talk about our kayaking. I've heard. And well, here that speaks to my point. I heard. Uh, I was I ramping heard up dinner every night. What did I not hear? I didn't hear any kind of salty crew activities. Okay, it's salt life. I'm out there in the mangroves. Okay, I'm fishing. Damn, I'm kayaking. There. I've got jet skis going. I've got a fucking 14 foot uh, <laughs> cruiser. Uh-huh. You know, I'm doing all the salt activities. Yeah, You're, I'm, yeah, I'm catching good, a tarpon, man. a tarpin. <laughs> I don't know what you call them, but I fucking caught them. You know, I'm salt life, bro. Yeah. And what you guys are doing, what you guys are doing, are imposters. The salty crew. I it was even. Imposters. I'm not even in the salty crew, man. You're not in the, yes, you are. I don't have a hat. Wow, the group's falling apart. I didn't know that right I was in the salty house. crew. You're in salty crew, man. Salty crew is North Carolina and uh, boys. Oh, uh, man. Get, man, just I'm let in me the in the fucking crew, crew man. No, do you want to be in the crew? There. Well, but you what? Now back to the issue. No, stay on this issue. <laughs> no, no, I want to talk <laughs> about salty crew. Okay, well then. Fuck salty crew because you deliberately, uh, you deliberately had a meeting, mm-hmm. you and Anthony, mm-hmm. and you said this seems like an open invite. People are bringing strangers. There's all you got to do is pay the money and you can come. I just want you to be in the salty crew. No, you want you. If you wanted me in the salty crew, you would have invited me on the vacation. Ask me what I was. I do- think I know what I would have done. Ask me what. I- know, ask me what I would have done to get you to be in the salty crew. What? I'd have bought you a hat. Oh, you bought me a salty crew hat. Oh, man, you, you wouldn't fall for this. That's your size. <laughs> oh, this is nice, man. <laughs> oh, I was trying to thanks, set him up for this man. trap the whole podcast, and he kept <laughs> going every other which way. With the salty crew? Yeah, I didn't foresee him doing the salty life thing. <laughs> salt salt life. Salty life is fun, though. Oh, salt. I love this salt. Thank you, man. This you is... look like a salty crew guy, man. Thank you. I'm in. I'm in. What, thanks, a, what a wild way to get around. It was Anthony and I. Now, thank you. Because we were thinking about you on the trip. <laughs> thank Greg, you. That well, means a lot, man. <laughs> let's be honest. What? Greg. Greg got you that hat. I said, let's get him this hat. Yeah, and I said, I who's it. Brendan? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? You know what I spent the he last... He said our business partner. I went, oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. You know what I spent the last week in? <laughs> Mental turmoil. My friends are on the oh, beach. Oh, no. They're living at large. You could have come down. They have wives. They have... Uh, they have uh, I have no... I had no help in getting anyone else a wife. What? <laughs> you have as much as a wife as Anthony does. No, Anthony's married secretly. <laughs> now, let me uh, go back to Looks this. Good, first man. of all, this is... <laughs> uh, man, that bit really... This I, is... I had this moment. I no. was going to trap you. It was a great moment. What were you? How were you going to trap me? What was I, I was, supposed I was to gonna, do? I was going to wear this hat, yeah. and you were going to get mad immediately. <laughs> I and did. Go, salty crew, he's ripping me off. I'm a salty crew guy. I want that hat. And I go, oh, you want this hat? Well, I bought you one. That's this was more of a trap out. than a gift. 
Yeah, I don't see how it could have played out much better than it did. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, uh, the yeah, only I think that's thing, like pretty it, much how it played the out. The only thing it didn't play out was verbatim what you <laughs> yeah, said. Yeah, I wrote the script. Yeah, he just it said was, salt life instead of salty crew. Yeah, that's it was exactly what happened. It pretty much played out exactly as you had planned, and I couldn't be more grateful. Let me say this: a hat is a wonderful thing to receive from a business partner, <laughs> but <laughs> it does not make up for. A week long vacation on the uh, Outer Banks, f- famed Outer Banks, of yeah. North Carolina. I've never been there. Before. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I went there. You know what I did there? What? I was about uh, 11, 12 years old. Me and my friend Noah. You know those water balloon launchers? Uh huh. Okay, we get, we collect about. You know, uh, I don't know if they're still there. They were there when I was there. <laughs> they may have changed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when I was there, I want someone to give me the amount. It. I want someone to get. I want someone to clock how much Anthony and I got to talk this episode. It must now, be vital to the story that you don't know if they're there anymore, but they were there when you were there. This must play a huge role in this story, I'm sure. Well, what was big when I was there were these little snow crabs. Uh-huh. Okay. No, not snow crabs. These little ghost crabs. Yeah, they're sort of see through. Yes, they're still there. Yes, still there. I got a picture of my phone. You're about, yeah, so. Me and Noah. I showed my nephew. We collect a bucket. <laughs> we collect a large size bucket uh-huh. of Uh-oh. these ghost crabs. Now, I don't want PETA calling in. Mm-hmm. So let me just say I was a young boy. I didn't know any better. Mm-hmm. We collect a bucket of these s- crabs, right? Yeah. We go back to one street these behind. These guys. We go, yeah, I know. Who yeah, they are. I was there. I was yeah, there. Yeah, but I'm showing the camera. Great. Yeah, sh- show the camera. Don't care. These guys. Yeah, exactly. Now. So cute. They look uh, like little cartoons. They do. So we find the most populated area of the mm-hmm. beach, okay, where everyone's hanging Excuse out. Excuse me. We go about one street back from the beach, mm-hmm. okay? We start fucking water balloon launching crabs into the crowd. <laughs> no. And these people, Man. they Jesus, think something dude. biblical's happening. Were they? Yeah. yeah. They were they crab, <laughs> crabs on their ears, crabs, crabs on their nipples. Funny. Flying down out of the sky. <laughs> yeah. Just crabs hitting their babies in the face. That's great. Just fucking God. raining crabs. It was genius. This was worth it. It was that's, genius. This that's was unbelievable. Worth. This is yeah. Salty Crew shit. Yeah. 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 This that's is some, some shit Salty Crew would do. That's why I got right the there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know what happened? I put the hat on Things started improving. Mm. Okay, no more lion dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you would fill the balloon with water and the no, crab. no, 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 no. What, Just what? a crab. Just a crab. Straight. <laughs> Straight crab. Straight crab. Straight Man, crab. I mean, that's the, nuts. The idea that you think I could get a crab into a balloon, fill it with water, and tie it off is insane. <laughs> really? <laughs> a crab in a balloon, yes. Anthony? Do you know you, the? But si- you said you put him in a balloon. No, uh, a balloon, balloon launcher. launcher. This is when the problem comes to when you're not listening. No. Because <laughs> then when you have questions later, they're already answered. So I don't know that I know what a balloon launcher is. You've you never seen those things they would have where they would... I uh, can't. One guy I can't would, anymore. One guy would hold each side of them and yes. you pull it yes. back. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, just yeah. You could shoot a water balloon so like So you were just feet. shooting crabs. Shooting crabs. Straight crabs. So you Straight didn't put them in a balloon. Uh, not only did we not, I don't think it's possible. <laughs> yeah. Unless you could get a very small crab. <laughs> so I got hung up on the water balloon word and not the launcher part. Yeah. All right, I'm going to tell you this one. We okay. got one of those. How did you... Yes. Before, and this is important. Sure. Did you wear special gloves or you barehanded? No, those uh, crab- uh, 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 Yeah, I don't get to go. Because Anthony wants to know if for your water balloon launcher, you had special gloves. <laughs> That's not enough to make me furious. I've been well, sitting on this go, story go, for they an hour. Didn't they? Question they did. Question they were ignored. Hey, okay, now I can move Question on. Question ignored. <laughs> Greg, move on. Question ignored. I Unanswered. I, I think I told Greg you this. Answered it. We had. A, I used to work at Fridays, and next to Fridays was a Hooters. Yeah. And we were all close. The Hooters yeah. people and the Fridays yeah, people. That's funny. Then they opened a place called it was like Lounge Forty Six on Route Forty Six. Yeah. It was I just remember like a that. Hooters type bar. Uh-huh. So they had like hot women giving drinks, and the Hooters women got mad because they thought they were taking their business. So we all went to the Toys R Us across the highway from Route 46 and we started launching uh, water balloons filled with ketchup and whipped cream oh, yeah. at oh, over, yeah. over Route 46. <laughs> this is a highway <laughs> yeah, at them exploding. Highway, Hilarious. Until clearly the first person misses, hits a car, car swerves off the road, no accident, but then goes away <laughs> and we go, oh, this is the most dangerous thing we've ever done. Sure. <laughs> we are launching water balloons over a highway. Yeah. Someone's going to die. Also, right. ketchup and whipped cream is a, that's a hell of a combo. How'd you come up with that? Well, we had all the ketchup because we had a big Friday's ketchup Makes thing. Sense. 
they were like, let's do whipped cream. And one of us, I want to say me, probably me, yeah. was like, hey, man, we got all this ketchup, too. True. Not also, too, that, man. Yeah, I think we're going to say the same thing here. I don't know. I would heavily <laughs> doubt we are because I say things that make sense. Yeah. But, uh, we had special boots. You need the, you need the, uh, you need the ketchup to weigh it down. Okay, you're shooting just whipped cream filled Whipped balloons. cream and water. Oh, okay, oh, water. Right. Okay, I should, have, I should have clarified. Yeah, because whipped cream alone, too light. You're not, yeah. getting, you're not getting the trajectory. You need. Whipped oh. cream and water in a water balloon, though, one of the best moves because it, it fill. it's like the whole thing becomes white. It's yeah. wild. Not, the ketchup doesn't really do Not only that, that, dude, In the was this summertime? This dead of winter. They were ice balloons. Oh, uh, that's too <laughs> no, bad. No, summertime. Yeah, summertime. Of course it was the summer. thing about whipped cream that I learned when I worked at a, a, a summer camp, because we would have the kids, uh, like during the fair day, they had a pie eating contest. Uh-huh. But it's like so many kids, you can just have a fucking hundred pies. So you just make whipped cream pies. You just fill up a pie tin with whipped cream. Yeah, yeah. The thing I never knew is maybe the worst smell in the world is whipped cream that gets on that gets on True. you and then goes sits out in the sun True, and goes man. bad. It's fucking disgusting. It's and you can't that. you like you yeah. can't wash it off. It's foul. Like foul. So yeah. you did the you were really doing a number on these people. We didn't know and they were in teeny weeny bikinis. Yeah. My girlfriend will add it for you. <laughs> my girlfriend in college and I experimented with food and sex and we went the milk and whipped cream route. And uh, <laughs> food milk, and sex. Huh? <laughs> food and sex. Food and sex hang on. Food and sex. Yeah. Where does whipped cream come into play? Because it's neither sex nor food. Oh, it's whipped cream food. is food. It's food. That's food. Oh, I was thinking shaving cream. <laughs> Have you guys been saying whipped cream this whole time? Yeah. Yes. Did you fill these with shaving cream? Shaving cream. Ah, oh, oh, boy. Well, well, shaving, no wonder. Shaving was, cream, you're gonna, you made them smell good. Yeah. yeah you made they them smell right. like a pine didn't forest. I didn't understand yeah. what you were talking about. And also what it negated my initial idea was if you got hit with a whipped cream water balloon, that's just nice. So let me ask you. look you, at all. I hate when I cut you off and call you stupid and then realize <laughs> I was saying the wrong thing the whole time. Let me and ask, notice how I didn't say a word about your blunder. I know. Let me I'm, ask you this. You're too sensitive. <laughs> this is an interesting uh-huh. idea. You just, <laughs> without question, assumed that I was feeding children at summer camp shaving cream pies. Yeah, well, that, that is a great thing to go back to. <laughs> addendum. Addendum. See, what happens is sometimes I'll get the learn first. the word addendum yeah, or addendum. something? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> saying it a lot today. Yeah. I said asterisks before. Yeah, you think you do two word of the two days addendums, for you. couple of asterisks yeah. between the two of us. The whipped cream thing. What I what I heard with the when you said what I what I heard. What I heard the first two sentences, and then I just wrote the rest of the story in my head. Gotcha. What I thought you were doing was you're filling these things with shaving cream and hitting each other in the face because that's what they used to do in the old movies. Sure, sure. Oh, you read, yeah. I didn't know you were reading sure. them. So so neither of you listen to anything. Is no, what no, no, no. That's I why we're one. I, I got most of it. Okay. And I got the other half. <laughs> now, back to this vacation. Yeah, the uh, kayak. Uh, I love when you interrupt us with our stuff. <laughs> yeah, because I, I interrupt wa- you to give you to talk. Uh, cause, yeah, well, because I need to hear. I Don't need- eat that. Eat the thing, other thing you want I to need eat. to hear your stories. I hear there's lots. You went kayaking. Yeah. Describe this. What happened? Now, shall I or shall you? Uh, why don't you? Because you haven't spoken a lot on this podcast. And you know I need to speak a yeah. lot. Start my timer. Go, go, go. We went kayaking. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we have this nice. He's gonna get his phone for this one. Doubles or singles? <laughs> I was there. I'm, I'm. You know. I wanted to give you the full range. Double, <laughs> the full range. Yeah. So I wanted you to have the center stage. So I would. So I would wait on the sidelines. So you feel like you're not going to be interrupted. I'm not be interrupted by you. Yeah. Exactly. That's okay, why I'd be on my phone. On. Footnote. <laughs> Footnote. I don't think we even got started on this podcast. <laughs> We've never done the intro. <laughs> well, no. The, yeah. From now on. If a person goes on their phone, no mentioning of it, as long as we uh, can assume that person is looking up something for the benefit of the podcast, mm-hmm. which with me and Greg, it almost always is. Yeah. With you, don't no personal business. But if you're looking up something- well, I've been checking, I was checking on the breakfast sandwich. Okay, All I guess right. that's legit. If you're looking up something <laughs> that's relevant to the podcast and going to contribute to the guy's story, yeah. that's okay. 
we don't need to mention it because that's a lot of podcasts they're doing research on the fly yeah. so it's okay mm-hmm. as long as you're giving as long as you can double your attention now back were these double or single kayaks they were double because I was too scared to go up on myself because I know that my asthma might kick in mm-hmm. yeah. so <laughs> Anthony and I say let's do a team bonding thing let's go out do a double together sure now we get on the high seas and by high we'll find out how high later because of the twist in the story of how, how crazy we're on this bay and I'm chugging away we're yeah. going the and then uh, we can't we're not getting anywhere we're not getting anywhere i'm screaming come on we gotta push i'm in the front <laughs> i turn the back everywhere i'm going anthony's rowing the other way <laughs> <laughs> Just, i'm pulling we, forward he's pulling backwards we got our left and rights mixed up <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was well i will say on me i was screaming paddle left but then i would go right uh-huh. but then, that's how you make it turn left but then he would see me and still be pedaling against my thing so we were just <laughs> hauling ass towards a ferry that was cooked we were in the channel this thing was coming right for us and I'm going left we gotta go left and Anthony's going you're sc-. and man we're di- so then <laughs> we're getting then this big wave takes us over well what happened was we were in the we were in the shipping lane for quite a while yeah uh, <laughs> so we were just in there in the middle of the street and then a ferry went by and you know the wake of the ferry the street he calls it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Water Street. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like Rome. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Venice. Not Rome. Venice, yeah, yeah. Italy, you know. Um, <laughs> so then the wake, the, the ferry created these uh, nice sized waves in its wake. So I told Greg, we got to hit those waves straight on. Sure. You know, Greg, the Freddy cat that he is, was going, we're doing too fast. We were going too fast. <laughs> so then we cooked into these waves as fast as I could get us there. And then we took on a lot of water. <laughs> yeah. We hit them pretty yeah. good. And then, uh, so then we were, we were, we kept going out though, because it was like a little, it was almost sunset. The current had us. So the current kind of had us oh at boy. one point. And Greg got real, real scared. So then at one point, I was like, all right, well, let me put my oar down just to see how deep the water is. And I couldn't get this oar uh, maybe an inch into the water. We we could have just walked back at any point. We were 100, 500 feet out <laughs> Well, in three to six inches of water. Yeah. The Outer Banks, famous for those sandbars, you know. That doesn't I wish nec- I had known that it, at the it, time. It doesn't necessarily mean there wasn't deep water in between you and the shore. No, nah, there was none, man. Famous. We were stuck on one. Yeah, yeah well, then we got beached. Well, we managed to beach the kayak, which Taco said that he had never really seen before, where I had to get out of the kayak and push it and then get back in so we could get back. And also, right before that, I was trying to pedal us left. He was trying to pedal us right. We go right into the rocks. My kind of we, my kind of trip. I'd say at least <laughs> point zero 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 six miles an hour. The slowest you've ever seen a crash in your life. <laughs> we crash right into the it rocks. It was fun, man. Yeah. I got to say brace for impact. Yes, that's, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's it was great. Good, like uh, Captain Kirk. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome, man. I had a great time. I've never known a man to be to say this <laughs> kayak is moving too fast. <laughs> yeah. It was. It's you never seen this guy in the open water, man. He's freaking out. It was also very high. Yeah, freaking out. A kayak. There's only so fast you can get a kayak going. Too yeah. fast, Anthony's <laughs> thing. Well, we used to, in Hawaii, we would take them right into the big wave. Well, you have to because you have to, as any captain knows, and I am certified, uh, you have to hit the waves straight on or straight from the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be sideways sideways, to a wave, man. Yeah, you're fucked if you're sideways. But it's so fun, man. Yeah. I want to also go over Anthony's menu for the week. So everyone's doing drinks. We're all making each other fun drinks. Fun drinks, right? Yeah. And Anthony does what he liked to call Anthony's take, which was Anthony's take on, I don't know, not drinking anything good. I don't know. Anthony's take, which I believe was, and correct me when I'm wrong, vodka, orange juice, bang, which is some kind of monster energy drink, 200 milligram that was a part of the, That thing. was part of the take two. And, oh, oh. So the first one was just cold brew. So it was vodka, no. cold brew. Orange juice? I'll tell you about it. It was to me. It was Malibu rum, Mm -hmm. Bacardi rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, four to five ice cubes, splash of cold brew, coffee. What? (laughs) Yeah, it was great. And and tacos cold brew was so good that it goes with anything. That's a Tahitian morning screw. It was like a tacos cold brew (laughs) is like a black T-shirt. He didn't invent that. That's a Tahitian morning screw. Yeah, it's in the book. Yeah, morning screwer. <laughs> there you go. And then a take two has a bang, which is an energy drink that has a tons of amino acids in it. Yes, which, by the way, is the only drink sponsored by almost every booty model on Instagram. <laughs> I They're realize- always pushing bang. Interesting, man. I didn't realize that, too, until last night when I was 
going through my feed it. and I saw a couple of booty models and I went, wow, I can't believe I didn't see that sooner. Yeah. Maybe because we were talking about it. Here's a problem that's separate from this. Uh, well, I need to finish Anthony's drinking thing. Because I my booty well, models on. are out of my feed because I think I've followed other people and now it goes by like... You don't see everyone, so I gotta get. I gotta follow some more booty models. Fill that sucker back up. You gotta do a dummy account. I got a dummy account. You got a burner a dummy, account. It's a burner account, which is where I follow my booty models now. That's so now only regular things in my following path, and booty on the on the Greg's burner account. What's the dummy account called? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I like gonna, it I'll on my regular air. account. I like to. I like everyone to know. I like to sit in a coffee shop in full view, yeah. full view yeah. of every patron uh, of every patron in that shop, and I like to scroll through just the just borderline pornography and oh, let yeah. everyone s- feast your eyes on this. What are you gonna do? Well, this is what I like. Big move I do yesterday. The old wife goes to bed. I decide to go in the living room, get a little you know a little Greg time going. Yeah. I thought you were off then. Oh, I was off it for the whole week. I didn't masturbate for a week. Oh, nice. I, which I thought was a big win. The that whole, is huge. I didn't Great. masturbate for a week at the Northern Bank. So I was like, I'll do one, right? So I get the, I put the phone, <laughs> right? I start looking. Volume's not working. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why is the volume not working? And then I hear it real low, and I'm like, that's not coming from my phone. Mm. That's coming from the Bluetooth, Bluetooth. speaker in my room <laughs> sure. where my wife is sleeping <laughs> and is now being interrupted by a teacher having sex with two students that were too bad to do yeah. their homework. Yeah. And I went, oh, Tina, I'm watching this movie. And she's like, I'm just sleeping. I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that'll happen. Yeah, Turn off the Bluetooth. Watch the Bluetooth. Uh, watch the Bluetooth. Uh, and uh, Well, yeah, I have to, one more thing on the food thing real quick. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, what Anthony did with the coffee, which he just thinks is acceptable to do. <laughs> so he paid, he bought a movie on their Amazon account. <laughs> Wait, I whose Amazon account movie. was it? I, it was either the people who owned the house or the last people who were there. We don't whoa, know. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You told this story. I thought it was your Amazon account. No. Oh, it God. It was whoever was right? signed Someone in. Someone leaves their Amazon account that, there? Thank you very That's much. on them. Woo! You probably over You log out. I'm renting 600 movies no, on there. No, it's right? fucked up. How nice of me to only rent Anchor. Yeah. You just said that drunk, <laughs> it's okay. You're totally acknowledging this. Hang on for If another- that was my account, you would have overdrafted my credit card. I'd have been $50 in debt. But that is more of an indication on your financial Hey, prowess. I live my life on the edge. I don't need someone <laughs> pushing me. You don't leave your fucking accounts on an unknown place that's how's known how's this too they now have that movie for 30 days on their account hope they want to watch it or don't already own it <laughs> yeah or well, you should check that it could be will Fer- it could be will Farrell's ex-wife you don't know you don't know no. probably was might have been then so- i have one right understand i don't know that he has an ex-wife i don't think so i think he's happily married yeah so anthony anthony on their account buys a movie and then in their coffee maker he decides to do a and i quote pre-sugar of the coffee and pours sugar into the coffee grounds in the coffee maker, which that's going to... sugared it. That's going to break your machine. No, that is... <clears throat> as, well, it's not great for your machines, but I will say, I will say as a former barista, that is not an unknown thing when you... Mm-hmm. When what? You, yeah, when you, you make... Things. When you make... There's no way he knew If that. you're in a rush. When you make espresso... Doesn't now, coffee, sense. I've never heard or done it with an actual coffee machine but when you make espresso in an espresso machine where you're pulling a shot yeah uh if you put raw sugar in the espresso before you pull the shot you see how many caveats you have <laughs> that, to try to get what well, he did that, to be acceptable but that it's a thing i'm saying that's called a you cu- think he thought that that's yep. called a cubano i did it's that's called, called a cubano, a cubano. now he I didn't work. have the raw sugar he didn't have the real oh, machine ha- he's well, not a barista to my to be fair i didn't have what i usually have at my disposal so i had to work with what i had this is like if we came home and anthony was eating a raw cat and you said, well, in the Philippines, oh, in the, shut up, in the Philippines, this is considered a delicacy. No, that man is eating a raw cat in our living room, and he did not know it was a delicacy. He should be jailed. Let, okay, let me... Sorry to tell you shut up. Let me adjudicate. Tear. Let me adjudicate. I'm a results-oriented man. How was the coffee? Great. It was really could good. I got taste, a lot of good feedback Could you from taste it. the sugar? Yes. And so it was sweetened. It was yeah, a kind definitely. of a pre-sweetened yes. coffee. Greg, in all honesty, how uh-huh. was the coffee? Well, no one knows because it didn't. <laughs> wasn't made. It broke the machine. 
So I don't know what he was drinking. So what do you? This guy was so fucked up on Anthony takes that he was in a meth fueled. He was in deliverance in his brain. So he didn't know. I don't quite understand how that would break Hello? the machine. Because coffee. No, let him take a call. Take a oh, call. yeah. Go ahead. Take we a just call. Did a roll. And take it right into the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, sh- it doesn't break down like coffee beans does. And it makes everything sticky. Or the machine was broken before we got there. Oh, he put it in the grinder. No, you know like the thing that holds it? Yeah. The filter? Yeah, he put it in there. I, I don't, don't know, know why that would break it. I'll be honest. It didn't break it. Greg said that to be funny. Oh, it didn't break I it. I had one cup and I loved it. And then nobody, everyone else was too afraid to drink it. Well, on the Patreon, we're going to find out the real take. I'm going to text the house, all of our real friends, <laughs> what if they had the coffee. Oh, man. We played these great pool games, too, with Mike's nephew. Why don't you just punch me in the face? <laughs> That would hurt my hand. Oh yeah, we have to talk about speedboat. We played. We speed played speedboat. Oh, Jesus Christ, speedboat, dude. Speedboat was great, man. Do, do you think next year I could come? Maybe. Actually, but speedboat. What speedboat was was uh, we put Julian, uh, my little nephew, cute as a button, this kid, and we put him on a raft, and we would just we he would travel from place to place, and I was his uh, I was his con I was his contact at the cartel. Greg played... Uh, well, let's play Speedboat on the Patreon. <laughs> Mexican, yeah, we could do that. Mexican drug dealer and taco played the Coast Guard. The kid loved the game. Yeah, Sure. Get yeah, him involved yeah. in uh, drug trafficking early. <laughs> he That's did. the kind of thing you're not going to get when I'm on vacation with you. I put a stop to that. I what said, would, well, you just got what would you have done? What would you have done I'd with the kid? I'd say we played Speedboat. I'd say this guy is uh, Captain uh, Marcellus. He's uh, one of the world's leading Speedboat captains. Over there hmm. is the Cougar Island where we have to get to capture a wild tiger to bring back to uh, our friend uh, Zamboni Tony, who uh, <laughs> oh, God. is trying to... I would have lived that one See, up. now that's is. the kind of thing. You, you should have seen. things whimsical for the children, well, not drug-based. Well, it was pretty whimsical. Greg did... Thank you, Becky. Oh, could I have my egg sandwich? Uh, yeah, you want half? Uh, it just failed. Um, Greg uh, played you know. Bobby Bananas. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I was going to do a thing about... No. You just took the microphone away from your mouth. It rises up on its own. That's why I got to hold it down. You literally checked the video. You went and you pushed it up to eat your sandwich in the middle. Well, the end. We only have 30 seconds left. <laughs> we kind of came to it together. Yeah. What are you saying, micro- Brendan? Oh. Nothing. Good podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a good one. I, My yeah. favorite are the ones where Brendan... Uh, Talks most of the time. I didn't fucking. Someone do the breakdown on the Just minutes kidding. on this thing. Someone do the breakdowns on the I minutes. Like I bet if anything, I talked 36% of the time. I'd say 36 minutes of the hour. I don't think so. <laughs> well, someone will definitely really get bad. back to us on that. Um, you guys do the thing. Tell, uh, tell them your plugs. Shit. Uh, no plugs. Uh, to subscribe, tell rate, review. Uh, you can go to patreon.com backslash raddukast for four uh, extra episodes a month for a $5 pledge or more. Follow us on Instagram at the Rad Dude Cast. Um, do us a favor. Uh, um, uh, spread the word. Oh. Get it out there. All that stuff. Uh, we appreciate you listening. It means a lot to us. Uh, you can follow me at Airbud, E-Y-R-E-B-U-D, on Instagram and Twitter for all uh, upcoming shows. I got to pee. Real quick. You're not peeing. I'm going to shit my pants. James Mattern. <laughs> I can't pee before you shit. James Mattern's album. Plug his album. Oh, yeah, man. You got it. I got all it, All right, man. pee. Pee real quick. Uh, go so I'm going to shit my pants. So James Mattern, our, our old roommate, he's been on the podcast. Yeah. We love him. Remember, he used to step in. He had his album come out. It's called No Segways. Uh, download, stream it. What you could do even more importantly is... Uh, uh, text him or message him that you loved it, even if you didn't listen to it. The guy loves a compliment. Yeah. You know, just everyone get on social media and be like, hey, I listened to the album. It's the best. He's the sweetest. He's got a giant dick. Uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, all those things are true. Yeah, you're yeah. eating, so I don't know. No, I got it, man. <laughs> um, make sure you listen to No Segways by uh, James. He's the best, man. Uh, Tell me uh, about bananas. Yeah, Greg and I, man, whoa, 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 whoa. September 6th and 7th, uh, what are you guys doing? Getting ready for 9-11? Well, put those plans aside, because Greg and I will be at Bananas in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, doing stand-up comedy. Um, and before that, if you're in the Boston area, I will be at Cityside Grill, two L's and an E, doing um, Shut up. a show. <laughs> 
show there, September 2nd. That's a Monday for all you Monday heads. And then on <laughs> September 13th, I'll be in Ridgewood, New Jersey at the Park West Tavern. That's not the Park East Tavern or the Park South Tavern. That's the Park West Tavern. And then uh, September 20th and 21st, I'll be at Good Nights Comedy Club in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'll be in the upstairs room because I don't draw very much. And then uh, September 28th, I'll be somewhere in Norwich, New York. Don't know where yet, but, you know, try to find it out. <laughs> and September 12th, I'll be in Newtown, Connecticut, where they had that famous massacre uh, at a brewing company called the Reverie Brewing Company. Uh, and then uh, October 11th and 12th, I'll be at Helium Comedy Club in Indianapolis, Indiana. Once again, I will be in the upstairs room, which is uh, sizably smaller than the main comedy club. And I don't even know if I'll be on the website, but I will be there. So... See you then, and as always, rate, subscribe, review, listen. Brendan's Instagram is Brendan C Air at Brendan Air. Uh, it's Air Bud E Y R E B U D. You fucker, eat your sandwich. Podcast right, so, over. Yeah. This episode of the Rad Dude Cast was recorded at Remember to Be Happy Studios. Production by Becky Rodriguez at Human Places, the Easy Three with video editing by Tanner Williams, Low Kinky 69.